Okay, this is a quick start guide. You run GameCube games on your computer. Super simple. I'm going to get you down to the basics. Just get the game rolling. So you're going to need a few things. Number one, search up Dolphin Emulator. You're going to be hitting up this website here. And we're just going to go and download it. I deleted everything. So I'm going to set it up with you just so you know it's good. Right at the front there, I'd honestly just click that. And honestly, just click the latest version at the top. Bada buoy. Open that file. But it's going to be in a 7-zip file format. So on your search engine, search up 7-zip. 7-zip is a program which we're gonna to use to unpack this file. 64-bit, if you had a computer for the last five years, that one's gonna be the one you wanna click. Install that, once you have that installed, you should be able to do everything I'm gonna tell you how to do. Open up your download. I hope you know where your download folder is, but uh, open the file. Now, if it doesn't automatically open in 7-zip, uh, you're gonna to have to go to your program files and they'll have 7-zip open it there as a file manager thing like 7-zip f m file manager makes sense there you go open that and through that menu you can just open a file let's say here and here or whatever you can go and download and you could go and find your file there we go there's dolphin so Go and extract. You can obviously put this anywhere you like. I'm gonna put it on one of my hard drives I have on here. So I'm just gonna pop it in here. I'm gonna make its own folder. I don't know if it's gonna just extract a bunch of files on the root. Don't want that, so. And when that's done extracting, just go to Windows Explorer and go into the Dolphin folder and click that dolphin.exe. There's Dolphin, sweet. Open that exe file. All right, we're almost there. You'd be shocked how fast you get this sucker rolling. So now that you've got this, now you need a game. So I was like, okay, I'll pick a random game. Uh, NBA Street 3 for GameCube. How do you get games? This is where it gets a little shady. Now, if you own the game, uh, like the GameCube disc, like you got it, you own it, you've bought it, by all means, you have it. You should be able to download it somewhere else that's my opinion so that's why i picked this particular game because i knew i bought it in the past i lost it i don't know where it is but i've been wanting to play it uh, i go on um, your search engine i literally put in nba street volume 3 gamecube rom now people just say rom because that's a term for it. it it really is an iso file um there's a lot of sketchy sites and you can find these files uh, Emu Paradise is a nice one to go to. Uh, they got a little download there. When you're looking for GameCube ISOs, you gotta be smart about this because if you download something and it's only like 10 megabytes or whatever, that's wrong. That's not good. This suck has gotta be 700 megabytes or higher, even 400 megabytes in some cases. Some games are smaller, but it's gotta be a significant amount of megabytes. If you download something that's an EXE, Delete that sucker, that's a virus, 100%. Hilarious enough, yes, this also comes in a 7-zip file format. So I'm just gonna double click that. There's the ISO, it's looking pretty good. So what am I gonna do? Hit the extract, go click here. I'm going to put it with my Dolphin emulator folder that I put it in. I'm gonna press okay, might take a little bit. And I know this is probably good because this is over a gig and that makes sense. Now, while we're waiting for that to do its thing, you're probably wondering, well, I, how do I control it? I need a controller. Uh, a lot of controllers work with the Dolphin emulator. So you can go ahead and use whatever you have available. I'm dead serious. What are some controllers that are easy? Anything that's USB will definitely work. I've used old Logitech USB controllers. They work fine. Um, the Xbox 360 wired controller is what I would consider the default best, easiest controller hookup because it's got the drivers on Windows and you're ready to play. But before we go and set up a control, let's just see if this sucker works. So while you're on Dolphin, you can actually double click just this gray area here. Oh, maybe I just select the folder. Ha, okay. And the reason why you can see the game by just clicking select folders because I put 
my default directory for all my games in the same spot I put my games. So as long as you put all your games in the same spot, it will always automatically show up here. You don't have to do this again. So if you download another game, it will also pop up here as well. So there's a game here. You could actually see a thing going on here. That's great. You see the file size, that's good. USA version, it's pretty self-explanatory. So we're just actually gonna just double click and see if this sucker works. And look at that, looks like we're loading. Looking like we're gonna be good to go here. I don't think you can really play without connecting controllers. So we're just going to exit out of that. And we're gonna hit up controllers. Let's just focus on GameCube because this is supposed to be quick. So standard controller. Yeah, we're just gonna do a standard controller. And this is where you get to pick your uh, controller of choice. You know, anything will work. PS4, Xbox will work the best in terms of ease of use of just plug and play. We're gonna do something a little different. I'm actually gonna try using the Stadia controller uh, because I think a lot of people don't know how and I'm gonna see how easy it is to do it. Uh, just, I know this is a Bluetooth device, but I'm going to go ahead and make it wired because honestly, when it comes to wired, it'll, I know it will work. Like there's no, there's no like extra steps I have to do or anything. So we're gonna plug it in my computer. Nice thing is I have never actually plugged this in. So it's saying it's setting up my controller. So that's good. So I, all right, it's ready to go. Wow. Okay. That's really nice. So if you have one of those data controllers, that's great. And look at that. It immediately showed up for me. So that's fantastic. I find if something doesn't, I could just click refresh and it will. So bam. All right. So pressing and then I'm pressing the button. So I'm just clicking Z, uh, let's do, uh, oh, did that work immediately? Left four, hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, troll stick. I'm just following the what it says on there. I'm just going through it. So now that I've gone and I've mapped, basically we are up, you just do up on the control stick, working great. Modifier, I think that's if you click. Click works fine. C button is usually, I'll just make it the stick on the other side. L and R, so that's where I'm going to do that. L analog. So if you have a controller that can do it. All right, so this controller does not have a uh, threshold, but that's okay. We're not too concerned. We're just trying to quick start this. So we're not going to bother with the, with the rumble. Bam. Okay. Now, hopefully this just works right off the bat here. And if it does, yeah, and you can make the screen any bigger, I, it will go to whatever screen size or whatever. Oh yeah. It looks like we're good. Yeah. Looking pretty good. So I know you noticed there, like it was all a little messed up on there. Video files that just run off the thing aren't gonna, yeah. As you can tell, there's a bit of a uh, bit of issue here. Quick start died. I ain't gonna dwell into that too much. Everything's not gonna be perfect. This is not like an official way to play the game, but the main game is going to be good. And, uh, this is the one with the Mario guys in it. So we'll just uh, wipe the uh, old Cavaliers up in here. And there you go. You're playing NBA Street 3 super fast. In fact, the longest time it would probably be trying to fit, trying to get your game that you want. The more popular the game is, um, the easier it is um, that you're good. <laughs> oh, shoot. Man, okay, well, it's been a minute since I played this game, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, look how fast that was. I'm already playing. But there you go, playing the game, pretty simple. And that's all it takes. It's not, uh, the emulator's so good that it, it really, a noob can do it. I think the toughest part is finding the game and knowing what program opens seven zip files. A lot of uh, game files, like the ROM or ISO, but 100%, it's gonna be ISO every time they are going to be in a 7-zip file. So 7-zip 
is what I would consider the best. It also opens RAR files, RAR files, opens those way better than WinRAR. Don't use it. Uh, and yeah, there you go. Uh, this is just a quick cert guide if you don't know how to do it. And look at that. It even works as save control of how to make the graphics better because I bet I can go ahead and upgrade these graphics here. And you can go ahead. There are graphics settings, but everything is on auto. Uh, if your computer isn't that great and it's run this like decently, then I probably wouldn't change it. This is how it's intended to play. Uh, you can make this 1080p. You can even turn anti-aliasing on. Let's just do a fun real quick here. Look at that. And now, <laughs> now the graphics. Oh, let's switch my guy here. Look at that. Man, these graphics are balling. Ali oop. There we go. And yeah, graphics already improved because I just put them up to 1080p. All right, enter as that. Just a little guide there to show you how this sucker works. I find there's a lot of tutorials that suck. If you guys are interested, I could show you how to do PS2 emulator. It's a bit diff more difficult. You gotta track down a few more files, but uh, Dolphin emulator, pretty good. And I'll, I, I will probably get into Wii emulation because that's also a little bit more difficult because if you want to use a Wii remote, it is a pain in the keister, but I will figure it out for you guys. Anyway, catch you in the next video.